NASA stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It's a United States government agency that is responsible for science and technology related to air and, well, space. Now, the space age started in 1957 with the launch of the Soviet satellite Sputnik. The United States government felt as if this was a fundamental shift in the balance of power and wasn't to be outdone. So, NASA was created on October 1st, 1958. Now, this is not to say that there wasn't any work being done on human and robotic spaceflight before the formation of NASA, but NASA definitely accelerated the progress and focus. Its first high-profile program was Project Mercury, which was an effort to learn if humans could survive in space. Now, following this was Project Gemini, which built upon the knowledge learned from the previous project culminating into the Apollo program, which brought the United States closer to its national objective of sending humans to the moon, which it did accomplish in July 1969 with the Apollo 11 mission. There have been six moon landings in total where astronauts set foot on the moon. Every mission stayed on the moon longer than the one before it, and each crew covered more distance than their predecessors. With every orbital telescope like the Hubble and rover landing like the incredible Curiosity rover, NASA continues to push past boundaries of the unknown and add to our knowledge base. Astronauts in orbit conduct scientific research. Satellites help scientists learn more about Earth. Space probes study the solar system and beyond. New developments improve air travel and other aspects of flight. NASA is also beginning a new program to send humans to explore asteroids, Mars, and beyond. And in addition to those major missions, NASA does many other things. The agency shares what it learns so that its information can make life better for people all over the world. Now NASA's headquarters is in Washington, D.C. The agency has 10 field centers and 7 test and research facilities located in several states around the country. More than 18,000 people work for NASA, and many more people work with the agency as government contractors. These people are hired by companies that NASA pays to do work for it. The combined workforce represents a wide variety of jobs. Now sure, we all know about the astronauts, but they actually only represent a small number of the total workforce. Many NASA workers are scientists and engineers, but people there hold many other jobs too, from secretaries to writers to lawyers to teachers. Now there are a lot of Americans who tend to be a bit dismissive of NASA's worth, but the truth is our society has benefited greatly from space exploration in terms of health and medicine, transportation, public safety, consumer home and recreation, computer tech, industrial productivity, and even environmental and agricultural resources. Just as a couple of examples, artificial limbs, freeze-drying technology, enriched baby food, harnessing solar energy, water purification, food safety systems, and firefighter gear, just to name a few. And there's also this idea that NASA eats up a lot of money, but the truth is, it's done all of that while being allotted only less than 1% of the national budget. So as we continue advancing in terms of technology, there is little doubt that the work that NASA does will contribute heavily to that advancement. So instead of taking what they do for granted, it's probably a better idea to appreciate them and even fight to give them more funding. Can you imagine what they could accomplish with a bigger budget? NASA has several visitor centers around the country. Here in Maryland, where Reaper Legion is based, there is the Guarded Visitor Center in Greenbelt. I took a trip there with my family a few weeks ago and it was pretty dope. And I was pleased to see other families there touring the place. Plus, it's absolutely free of charge. But the one I really want to visit is the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. What do you think, guys? Reaper Legion road trip? I'll leave a list of the visitor centers in the description box so you can see if you live near one. And if so, go check it out. Well, that's all for me today, Reapers. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Reaper Legion Network and help our community grow. And as always, please, keep responsible. Thanks for watching, guys. But don't go anywhere just yet. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. And if you look in the description box, you'll find links to our Facebook, Instagram, and our official website.